Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, on this most holy night, which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters, scattered throughout the world, to come together to watch and pray. We keep the memorial of Lord's Passover. Listening to his word and celebrating his mission, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph and his death and living with him. yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all things belong to him in all ages. To him be glory and power to every age, forever and ever. Amen. By his holy and glorious rule, may Christ our Lord guard us and keep us May the light of Christ, mighty and glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and The light of Christ, praise to The light of Christ, thanks be to Yeah. 
Restores innocence. 
dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved His people, and in these times, the last days, has sent us His Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that God may complete the pastoral work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Evening came, and morning followed. 
the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
need to understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning. Except that at the end of the age, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. And you, lift up your staff, with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and his, all his army, his chariots and his charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh, his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud, also leaving the front, took up its place behind them. So that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed, without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea in the night watch just before dawn. The Lord cast through the column of a fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. And he so clogged their chariot wheels, they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on towards the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray. O oh God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of right hand, now you bring about as a salvation of nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright through Christ our Lord. Amen. Read from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? Your wagers for what fails to satisfy. Eat me and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not. And nations that knew you, you shall not run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified him. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his ways, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the God for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as the heavens, the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
almighty and ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mission of this present age, graciously increased the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God of unchanging power and eternal life, look with favor on the wondrous works and mysteries of the whole church. And serenely accomplish the works of human salvation, which you planned from all eternity. In the whole world, go and see that what was cast down is raised up. What has become old is now made new. And all things are restored to integrity through Christ, just as by Him they came into being who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. like his, 
we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If, then, we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
question of whether you believe or not. My standing here is not going to convince you either way. Either you believe if he is risen or not. As we celebrate, may we indeed run to the tomb and see that it is not, that it is empty. May we be amazed that he has been raised from the dead. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water which he has created, which will be sprinkled upon us as a memorial of our baptism. Let us graciously renew us, and we may remain faithful to the Spirit whom he has received. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs and wonders, which tell us of your unseen power. In the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel a slavery to the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, Jesus was baptized by John. God, our Creator, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the waters of this pond that those who are indeed blessed may be, may be blessed in you. We ask you to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Anybody the congregation that please stand? Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so may we walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our left observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of our baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. In all his works? I do. In all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and Holy Spirit, and bestowed upon us the forgiveness of our sins, 
keep us by his grace. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord has set the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy churches. Except we ask, O oh Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal mystery, made by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed our death, by rising he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as without enemy acclaim. Jesus Christ. 
from the Olympians, number 529. Surexi Christus, number 529. Thank you. 
Lord, the spirit of your love. In your kindness, may those who have nourished by this paschal sacrifice, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, I wish to extend Easter greetings and blessings to you and your family that you gather in tonight and tomorrow to go out the weekend and may it be a blessed Easter season for you. I want to thank Madeline and the choir for a wonderful job today. Organizes me. She tells me where to go. <laughs> I, tell them the book. I want to thank all of those people who made all this happen. And everybody sees these flowers, but no one sees the one under the tabernacle. But me. So I just want to point that out to you. There's one under the tabernacle. But have a wonderful Easter. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.